Dane Bohala for the the spokesperson for the presidential campaign organization of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in the 2023 polls, and its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubaka, has questioned President Bola Tinumbu's administration for arresting and detaining the chairman of the EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, Why crime suspects are being made ministers and emerging as lawmakers. Bohala on Sunday. On his Twitter handle, asked Tinubu to intervene in the case of the suspended and detained EFCC boss, saying whatever is being investigated does not involve an attempt to overthrow the Nigeria government. I appeal to President to intervene in the case involving Abdul Rashid Bawa, the EFCC chair. Whatever is being investigated, I believe, don't involve attempts to overthrow the government. This pattern of arresting, detaining, and humiliating anti anti graft boss, why the suspects become ministers and lawmakers will eventually kill the very institution of the EFCC. The PDP chief said. Some reporters in June reported that President Tinubu suspended Bawa from the from office indefinitely after which the Department of State Services arrested him. Okay. Meanwhile, Bauer's succession came barely a month after the anti graft agency under Bauer's leadership revealed that it was investigating the then governor of Zamfara State, Belu Matawali, over allegations of corruption, a award of fathom contracts, and diversion of over 70 billion naira. The EFCC had said that it was making the investigation known following the former governor's move to cast. As passions on the integrity of the agency's fight against corruption by making what the agency described as facial allegations of corruption in assets, disposal, and plea bargaining procedure, among others. However, not only was the EFCC chairman suspended indefinitely shortly after announcing that the agency was probing Mr. Wiley, he was later arrested and has remained in detention to date. Tinubu has gone ahead to nominate Matawali, a suspect being investigated for corrupt practices for a ministerial position. <laughs> well, it is a government of thieves catching the owners. From what I, I have seen so far, it is obvious Tinubu wants to fight those who were trying to oppose his presidential bid, not necessarily those who are corrupt. Exactly. Just trying so hard to punish those who went against his presidential ambition. What a country. No more fighting corruption. Corruption had been set free in this a regime. EFCC chairman and CBN governor are bleeding for the country, Nigeria. With the caliber of a S gangs our president is appointing as ministers, I don't think there is hope for the country. The appointments are more or less political compensations, governments of corruption and impunity, and we still tell us that democracy is the best form of government. With lawlessness, no accountability, no fair mercy for the citizens. Buhari did the same. Stop crying, but always remember that power is transient. Very unfortunate. Sometimes I wonder if we we ever get a sincere government in Nigeria who is interested in doing the right thing rather than what benefits them. What is the difference between the supposed crime fighter and the crime suspect? For me, it is the same bosser. We cover yash cover. <laughs> Bauer also allowed himself to be used if he had done his job without dancing to the tune of the paymasters. They won't. They won't. There won't be any evidence to nail him. Bauer deserves what he's getting. He has every opportunity to strike before the striking. Remaining DSS point man. That is exactly what he did. Suspended him and make people. He is investigating ministers. The question is that Tinubu that's always crying out, always making noise, he fought for democracy, he fought for democracy, and see what he's doing. Yeah, what Babangida said. At not only Babangida, you can say, oh, maybe he didn't say so, but at least the president of Liberia said that there is no way there will be no, that uh, what is it will not continue, what do they call it? Coup will not continue. The, the manner, uh, the way and manner at which they say, African leaders are going about it, doing everything with impunity, and you want this to go on fine. Uh -huh. There's no way it will not happen. There's no way. Well, the thing, Tayamio, 
man is uh is do a vindictive i pity those who expect something good from this uh, government we never thought this could happen in nigeria let's not worry nigeria will happen to all of them i have never seen this kind of country before only dealing with those who stops him from winning elections it is compensation ministerialist plain truth that is nigeria for you why not so we're expecting something positive from a nude foster grand master those are his cronies and partners in crime yeah nothing in life is free he's paying for his wrong dream that is nigeria for you and those that voted them are already complaining in just few months the man is busy appointing criminals into positions of national concern but something happened to bawa should something happen to bawa nigeria will let him know we never voted him as our president anybody that served in Buhari regime need to be detained Tinubu government is upside down no direction that's it <laughs>